Hey there, artists. So I'm going to show you how you can do some printmaking um, with foil. So I have already made a design on a piece of paper with Sharpie. Although if you drew it first with pencil, that's even better. And then trace it with Sharpie. Then I got a piece of aluminum foil and I started making, I made a tad uh, design um, and on a paper, excuse me, a foil piece that is about the same size as your picture. So please remember just to use one marker at a time. When you're doing your, excuse me, you're doing your markering, instead of drawing, having your marker in a drawing position or writing position like this, I like to have my marker underhanded so that I can use the chisel tip. Remember the chisel tip is that nice flat edge of your marker where it really lets you uh, lay down a lot more color. So I'm gonna go around and do my last section. Um, the only other color that I'd like you to pay attention to is the yellow. The yellow will pick up the other color and it will get kind of ruined. You can kind of see the purple and the blue are kind of mixing together. So put your yellow, if you're doing this, off a little ways and you can always blend it uh, other, other ways too. So this happened because there's a little bit of water on my foil. So with the yellow, if you're confused about that, I did mine separately, not touching anything. And then I went back with the orange and I used the orange right on top of a little bit of yellow because the orange wasn't, uh, is not going to get ruined by the yellow, if that makes sense. Anyway, let's get on to the printmaking part. You're also going to need a wet paper towel. I'm going to use this wet paper towel and dampen my paper. Not make it soaking, I'm just making it a little bit damp. All right. And then my Sharpie is not damaged because Sharpie is a permanent marker. Then you can either flip this over or flip this over. It doesn't really matter. And then massage, give it a little back rub. And the color on the foil is going to print onto your actual artwork. This is called a mono print because you can only print it one time. Mono means one. If you wanted to make another foil print, you'd have to do the whole shebang over again and it'll be a little bit different. So one of a kind. All right, everybody, I'm excited to see what I've got here. So when you pull it up, I've got my whole tie-dye situation. So that's just one of the many ways that we can print. All right, happy arting.